the three highest expenses for almost everyone in a first world country is shelter, fuel, and food. People need a roof over their head, they need to be able to travel, and they need food to eat. After that, discretionary spending makes up the rest. Clothing, internet, tech, health and beauty, entertainment, and more. Your job is to figure out what people value and then become really good at providing that value in a better way than anyone else can. The easiest way is to find something that you already enjoy and work constantly at making that better, which will take a very long time. It's fucking easy just to throw it in and go back to working a job. That's fucking easy, and I've done it so many times it blows my mind. I've had many ideas and almost zero execution on any of them because it's easy to look at the long road and decide there's just too much involved. It's disheartening. You, like me, feel the exact same way. But what if I told you that if you commit to finding out what people value and then become really, really fucking good at that, then you'll live your dream life without ever chasing money, yet money will pour in for you. Money is a yardstick of the value you provide to others, and the more value you provide to others, the more money you'll make. It's a necessary yardstick because without it, you won't know if your product or service is shit. Want to know if your business is shit? No one wants to buy anything you're selling. It's rough and it can be an ego hit, but it's a necessary yardstick to know that you're on the right path to providing value. Providing value to others is the best way to give back to the world. The universe works on the basis of energy in, energy out. When you provide value, you provide energy to others. The more energy you provide to others, the equal and opposite energy will be given back. Money is stored energy. The energy equation always has to balance. When you stop working, you are taking energy out of the system without giving anything back. So if you ever decide to retire and take or rip someone off or steal, it can only take one form of energy left for you to give. That's your soul. As rough as it sounds is true, the universe can neither create nor destroy energy. So when you create value for others, you exchange that value for equal and opposite energy in the form of money, if that's your trade. The more value you give out, the more money you get back. And you have to be generous to give more than you take. And to leave this earth, giving more value than you took is to be the most generous. So to be rich, you have to first be generous because in order to receive, you must first give. The aim of the game is to be as generous for as long as possible. The more value you give, the more you get and the larger your life. Good luck and I'll see you on the other side.